hello guys welcome back to my channel and previously we were dealing with uh, finding a string within the content and in this video i am going to give an introduction to the form find and uh, the controls in it as well as the code we need to write before actually using this in the main form so it has uh, a text box txt find and it has uh, radio buttons up and down and it's named as o down you can name anything you want o up o and or so it has a button two buttons and as well as a checkbox itself you can name uh, give a matching names of your choice so let's get to the code here just get rid of this so first you need to have a reference object for a main form so main form and that main form is given as parameter to the constructor itself so assign that so you could access all uh, the things that are necessary on the main form from this class itself you need not uh, have uh, anything else for this and also we need an object for, for uh, reference for uh, edit operation and uh, this the edit operation of uh, main form uh, will be set using uh, properties you need to have uh, find nest uh, search query equal to new find next search of just instantiate here itself and you need to include this header file we have added a search object here we need to add a rich text box Itself. so we will be having the access to text area from this class itself we are not going to do anything uh, externally we are going to do everything here itself and finally we need to have a property for this query of such object control dot and so we have added a property here and that's it we have a uh, given this access to main form and then you need to set by default uh, o down as check o down dot uh, check equal to true and uh, you need to disable the find button initially be before uh, anything is present in the text box it should not be enabled so because the user need not uh, click the button without uh, typing anything so let's disable it and we are going to set the edit operation in this class with uh, that of our main class so create a property there just click control dot and it will expose a property so it's done this error will go off basically we need not uh, have any sort of control mechanism and we need to have complete access of uh, main form components within this class and that's why we are doing all these things and finally we need to give query dot success as false this is because whenever a uh, form find is newly open we need to set it as false itself and uh, we need to add few more methods to this class basically we need to click this and it will uh, bring up this event handler whenever the text is changed it means user has typed something we can enable this So we are uh, enabling this by checking if text dot find dot sum. So the length of the text should be greater than zero. In the in that case, we can perform a search operation. So based on the length, it will be enabled or disabled. It's simple, and we need to have a method here update search query. 
so basically this method here will update the search query based on what's selected in the user interface that is form window if the user selects uh, match case or up or down if something changes the query needs to be updated let's define the method here generate the method and we can get rid of this so every time the search query search string is what's that in the text find that is the text box so that's it and uh, let's give uh, the direction the direction is given by uh, the what's selected which one of the ra radio buttons are selected here o up or o down so based on that we can uh, check the direction so o up dot checked if up is selected then the value should be up otherwise the value should be down yeah and finally we need to check the match case it should be equal to check ch k match case so that checkbox dot checked if if it is uh, checked it should be match case should be true and it's a uh, case sensitive uh, search and otherwise it's case insensitive search and finally we need to give the content itself so to the to give the content we have editor object and basically that uh, rich text box of uh, main form we have given a reference here so it should work here so we have the whole content here and finally the position and it can be taken from the editor object itself we need not worry about that so editor dot selection start So we have everything we need to change the query anytime we want. We can call it in the change events. So match check changed. We need to call this update query. And up check changed. We need to call it as well. We need, we need not call this in uh, down check check uh, actually down uh, radio button we need not call the same in uh, down radio button because when it's under a group box and uh, whenever one one particular uh, radio button is selected the other one will be dis uh, unselected so it shouldn't matter so finally when the form is closing let's go to events and form closing so form closing even we need not uh, close the form actually we just hide the form we need not uh, want to dispose this uh, object uh, of form find so we are hiding the form from a user view and we are cancelling the closing operation so that works and only one thing I think reminds here now we have to write the code for uh, find next button the code for find next button is rather simple we need to call this update search query first and then we can uh, create a find next uh, object and uh, after creating that uh, we need to use edit operation and uh, give uh, find next and call this uh, find next method we have implemented in this previous video and uh, just give uh, this query object so in this previous video we have uh, done all this we have uh, written this we have uh, provided uh, 
find next search object search object and uh, we are getting the result object uh, so all those implementations are useful here we are just uh, calling the function providing the particular par parameter and uh, getting the result out of it and if you can recall uh, you should uh, remember that uh, the result has search status if the search status is true then select the particular uh, string in the editor that is text area itself uh, so we have access to editor in this class itself so editor dot select use the select uh, method here and just uh, give the result dot selection start and also the length of uh, selection in this case uh, what's there in the text box itself uh, text dot length so we have completed the code that is needed for uh, button find so it is usable once we have uh, given the logic in uh, main form so in the next video i will complete all of those stuff and show the demo for find operation and both are find and find nest it will work so thank you guys for watching this video like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you